you know, there was a lot of things that I always believed. It's the wealthy's fault. One brand is better than another. My way is the right way. Blue collar people would never get ahead. Without college, you will never achieve anything. It is what it is. This is the way it will always be. People never change. If you're in a stereotype... That's the way it's always going to be. Loners are losers. If you don't have school education, you're pathetic and you're worthless. You want to never survive this broken heart. The mistakes that you've made... Now you gotta live with them for the rest of your life. They define who you are. When someone's negative towards you, you better be negative back towards them. You can have all things in life as long as you agree with someone else's agenda. You have to have education to be somebody. Stock market. Oh, don't get me started with the stock market. That's only for the rich and the elites. Don't even waste your time with that. You'll never be good enough. Shut down your YouTube channel. This is the worst YouTube channel I've ever seen. You're pathetic. You're ugly. Nobody's going to watch you. Nobody cares. You don't get many views. You don't have many subscribers. You're worthless. Just stop. Why are you wasting your time? Just kill yourself. Just run away. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares. Your car is slow. Nobody cares. You don't have good grammar. You're pathetic. Your politics are just worthless because they disagree with mine. You're a sheep. You're a snowflake. You're worthless. You will never amount to much. I don't get a break. Why do other people have it better than me? Why are they luckier? Why are they richer? Why do they have such nice things? And here I am. Look at the car. Look at their house. Look at their husband. Look at their wife. Look at their kids. Look at their yard. Look at their land. Look at the clothes they have. Look at the jewelry. Look at how they have such proper posture. Look at how they present themselves. Look at this. Look at that. All my life, these are things that I have heard, that I've thought, that I have been told. All these things that I just told to you. So many of these lies I've believed myself. And you start to ask yourself, man, God, why? 
What's my purpose? What's your plan for me? You know, Lord, I plan and it never works out. I pray and they don't always get answered. <laughs> These are things that I used to ponder. But I don't ponder any of these anymore. And there's so much that I wish I could say in a video to those people that still ponder these same questions. And it's hard to say in a video what I believe and where I'm at now. Because to kind of fully grasp what someone believes and where they are in life, you kind of have to know where they've been. And to know where I've been, I don't think there's enough data on a memory card that could tell you guys. So I start the video off by mentioning everything that I've heard. Obviously not everything, but a lot of stuff I've heard. A lot of stuff I've believed. So I put the back end of this video on what I believe now. Do you know how many times people have told me in my life that's impossible? And I believed it. A guy like me, change, nah. I'm always going to drive Chevy. Yeah, Chevy's the best. Anybody else that has any other vehicle, you're worthless, especially Ford. If you're a Ford person, you're scum. You're scum of the earth. Only low lives drive Fords. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was the old me. That was the old thinking, the old closed mind thinking of one brand is better than another. Man, what God can do, if anybody ever doubts, never doubt God. Never doubt a man that loves Jesus, even if he has faults. Anything's possible. So I no longer think that way. I think all brands have their quirks and perks and things that are good and bad. Ford, Dodge, Chevy, it doesn't really matter. You know, I used to think, well, if I think it and someone thinks differently, they're wrong. No, I don't think that anymore. I think we all have acknowledgement of different things in life. We all have been on different paths and are on diff different paths. We all see things differently. So in one person's eyes, something seems right while another person says that's wrong. So in our own eyes, we are viewing something based off of what we've seen, what we've heard, and how we were raised. And to argue with somebody about that, you know, always leads to negativity. And negativity always leads to destruction. You can be a destroyer or a builder. That's up to you. So I no longer feel that my opinion is the best. Even if I'm right on something, what does it matter if it's downing somebody else? You know, which having that way of thinking did more than just save my marriage. It elevated it to new levels. Um, and when you stop trying to push your agenda and start focusing on the kingdom's agenda and bettering your relationship, you know, because that starts, you know, if your spouse or your partner is doing something that you disagree with, you know the best way to change that scenario is to start changing in you. And I know humans think, what? That's backward thinking. Why would I change me when they're doing this that's horrible and hurtful and is only doing bad? You see, 
that's where if you if you don't understand why I say this you're not at this point yet and if you want to get to this point it's simple I can tell you I can lead you but I can't force you to drink but it's, it, it starts within you you start changing the negative things in you you start changing your bad habits you start changing your outlook on life you start thinking of the positive on everything okay forget about what they're doing it's it's in here because every day you're waking up every day you're going to bed sure life can be horrible when you're with people that are horrible but it starts in here and just maybe that other person will see what you're doing on yourself instead of nitpicking and nagging and complaining to them about their problems you start changing inside and one or two things is probably going to happen. They're going to start to resent you and be jealous of you because you're changing and you're bettering yourself. Or they're going to see the change in you and think, wow, you know, they don't force me to change. They're not forcing me to do anything anymore. They're focusing on themselves and bettering themselves I don't want to be left behind maybe I should change now obviously there's some stuff that you know abusive personalities and stuff like that that obviously seeking help elsewhere but for the most part but you know as we continue with my life you know I live so much in the past you know, when you live in the past, guess what your future is going to be like? The past. Because you're living so much in the past that what happened long ago is still within your reality now. And when you have that in your reality now, you are not growing. You're limiting yourself. It took me so long to figure so much out. And all this started a year ago when I truly started seeking different, different ways. You have to unlock your brain to new things to fully grasp. I now understand people and their negative thoughts. I now understand money. I now understand how things work. I now understand emotional feelings. And I now understand so much within my personal life. You know, I can't tell you how many times people have told me, that's impossible, or I can't do something. And now, now I say, oh, that's impossible. Watch me break impossible. Because nothing's impossible with Jesus Christ. And if he's living in you, man, I tell you what. Nothing's impossible, and impossible can be broken. Because after all, everything that humans think is impossible another human has proved it wrong who would have ever thought you could have a camera in your hand walking around all around you would have asked that a hundred years ago people they couldn't have fathomed that when electricity was invented when the light bulb was invented when vehicles were invented so many things in history that are invented, people have said, that's just not possible. Going to the moon at one point was viewed as the most impossible thing to do. That's done and gone with now. Now we pay no attention to it. So I tell you, when someone says you can't do something or something's impossible, break it. Break it. You tell them back. Watch me break the impossible. And then you do it. And you can do it. You believe it, you can do it. And if, especially if you have Jesus Christ on your side, then there's no doubt. Look at me. How many times I was told, you're worthless, you're nothing, you'll never achieve anything. You're a blue-collar man, and that's all you'll ever be. Well, this blue-collar man 
has helped his mother make a living for her and my father and blessed other people because of that. Because of this, this simple-minded person that would never achieve anything has helped my mother achieve not only goals, but making a living from online. I got my dad into other stuff too that helps them make a living as well. Not only that, this simple-minded nobody who's not going to ever go anywhere has over 45,000 subscribers between multiple YouTube channels and now makes a living from online. At one point when I really wanted it, I was in the top 4,000 Amazon reviewers and then I stopped doing Amazon text for reviews because I found them dishonest. Because you're competing against people that are dishonest that get free stuff and give fake five star reviews and I didn't like that. So I started doing video reviews because that allowed me to be honest and give my full opinion. Watch me break the impossible. And we're just getting started.